Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to your weekend juice. This is the workshop update for Jekyll Bates. I am your hostess with the mostest, Jen Cravasi, and welcome to the show. Um, got a few pieces to go through this morning, so we're going to get right into it and show you all what's been going on lately here. We're going to start out with these little guys. Um, so why am I wasting my time on these little guys? Well, um, these are the little, I think it came in a 10 pack and I've got eight of them here that were decent enough and I tank tested them to where they float well, they'll run a little bit. Um, these are good winter baits down here in some of the deeper river holes. I like to use these for walleye. Um, also like to use them for trout in some of the deeper trout holes in the river. So this is just a very inexpensive set that came off of Amazon. Um, sometimes you can get gems and sometimes you don't get gems. Uh, I don't want to call it pure garbage because some of the stuff is salvageable. Um, but if you look at these pieces, you know, it's just, it's your basic patterns. Okay, there's not a whole lot going on with this bait, but if they swim well, what I like to do with these is I'll re-dip them. I'll reseal them. Um, I'll make sure that the, the bait, the integrity, the structure of the bait is good, and then I'll tank test it. Um, or, or, you know, if, I, if I'm not near the tank, then I'll throw it in a little pot out in the kitchen. So just to see, you know, if it floats, if, if you push it down, what, what speed the rise rate is at. And this set, you know, you kind of sometimes get lucky. So these are pretty decent. So we're going to hang on to these. I'm going to take them fishing with me at some point this week, um, trout fishing. So we'll have that live test for you guys to show you what they're, what they're going to swim like. Um, and if they're any good, then hey, maybe I'll throw a link up and recommend them to you. Because I think this was like 3 or $4 for a 10-piece ten, ten set of these, of these little, they're, they're basically minnows, rip baits. Um, and they have a pretty decent action to them. So I'll show you one more piece of these. And again, this is, I resealed these. And you can see they just came off of the clear coat rack. And I got to get the gunk and everything cleaned up off the eyelets and... I'll put real hooks on them. The hooks that they come with, are they are really garbage, and the split rings don't hold up. So I'll put some decent stuff on it, maybe weight it just a little bit more, and uh, I think we'll have a, a bait that's ready to go and see if we can get some walleye with them. Enough about those. That's this set right here. Got a few more of these. Now, this is for um, one of my clients, Greg, and it's a fairly sizable order, so thank you, Greg. But I wanted to show him one of these baits I ordered two of them. Um, these are just, it's just so much fun to create. And this is a fantastic blank. Um, this is that duo pressing. Uh, comes actually out of Dinger, this particular version of it. And it's their D65. It's a mid-diving, um, very sturdy lip on it. Eyes are awesome. Great, great bait. Love doing this. And I also, he asked for it, the bone with red eyes. Um, just super excited about the way this came out. Looks really good. There's his red eyes on there. So this is going to be killer for him this year. Also, I've been working on my freehand a little bit. So these lines are freehand. There's there's nothing that I didn't use a comb or anything like that. I'm just basically working on controlling my trigger. Um, and, and these are the kinds of things that I like to, to spray the straight lines with. And very happy about this and i did a post in the brotherhood page on facebook the brotherhood of custom crankbait painting um that michael has started actually it's been going for a while now um so it's got uh, i think we're close to 4400 if not over 4400 members so really excited about the response that he's gotten on that page um but I posted about the particular color that I used to accent this bait with. I do have a little bit of black on that ear flap right there, but the rest of the shading is done with a Wicked Colors Detail Black Magenta. Uh, I just got a two ounce bottle because it's about eight bucks, but it's super cool. Um, really good shading. It's a lot more muted. It's not like black sometimes. It's real contrasty. It kind of punches you in the face. And it's like, I don't really want anything that dark on this bait. I want to keep it more muted because your, your colors fade out a little bit on your bait fish in the winter. This is made and intended for winter. Um, so if you get a little bit closer in, see the only thing that's in black on this entire bait is that ear flap. 
So we did that. It's got that little red marker. Um, and I, and I do, uh, I, I like Michael's concept on that because it does really give the fish another target. And then we put some, some tailor-made red eyes on this bait. And I think these eyes are Brule. You can also find them on Amazon. Cool eyes. They're good eyes. Um, and lots of shimmer on it. So we added that, uh, it's a Com Art, Iwata Medea Com Art Pearlescence Opaque. And it's just a little shimmer that you spray on it to finish that bait out. And uh, pretty much the, the rest of the paint, except for that detail black magenta, which is color number 75, is all iridescent. So there's a lot of flash and pop to this bait. It's got a little tangerine on the throat. Super, super excited about how this bait turned out. And got requests for June bugs. This is a great color. It's good in dark water, stained water, but it's also good in clear water. Um, it imitates those black beetles that you'll see year round. You'll mostly see them in the summer, late summer, fall. Um, but these are also, this is a little 1.5. And we come in a little bit closer on this bait. There we go. Lots of shading on it. You guys can see I'm wearing gloves this morning again, but I usually do when I'm handling somebody else's bait. Um, but I also, the, the winter just chews my hands up so bad. I'm, you know, working epoxy and paints every day. So my skin gets dry. Winter makes your skin dry to begin with, but paint and epoxy certainly does not help. This little 1.5 in a June bug. Lots of fun. And then we have the creme de la creme. These guys are the Jackal Rerange 130s, and there's 10 of them. This special order is leaving the house today, and you can see that, that Rerange 130 insignia, which I like to do transparent when I can. Um, so this is a repaint at a customer request that he asked for specific colors, and these are gonna specifically be targeting walleye up north but I'm always happy to do that. And this is in the uh, Imperial Crawl color, or pattern, various colors. And I used a lot of iridescence. I don't know if you can see the color shift in that, but these are color shifting paints. It's the Createx iridescent line. And you can see where it's red, but eh, if the light hits it the right way, it almost has a fluorescent pink pop to it. That's just the, the, shade, the shade shifting iridescent paint at work there and they you can kind of see them better I would say in darker colors that red really shows it but jackal rearrange these things are awesome awesome baits and this is that 130 so when you put it on the uh the measuring the law stick we call it it's a five inch bait from nose actually probably a little bit over five but nose to Nose to tail, it's five, a little bit further with the bill. And it's a suspending. Suspends on a dime. I would rate it right up there, if not just a little bit better than some of your Visions, your Mega Bass, um, and some of the duos that are out there, the, the 120 SPs. This is just a little bit longer than that. This green came out cool too. I love green on a bait, especially in the winter. Reds and greens, not that Christmas has anything to do, but the, the fish just seem to key in to these bright, bright colors a little bit more. And then we've got that yellow. And I went ahead and did the eyes yellow as well, just for something a little bit different. Love doing this pattern. And that is going to do it. I do have one more tip um, for you guys. I ended up getting a couple more pair of, uh, of these split ring pliers, and I get asked a lot which, which ones I use. And this is the pair that I've been using now for almost three years. It has not done any anything wrong, um, but you can see that it's just starting to get a little bit worn down on the tip, you know, push in. But this is after three years and literally thousands and thousands of split rings, probably millions of split rings this thing has seen over the years. Um, so I ended up, and you can get these for about $8 at Bass Pro Shops. Um, the reason that I like it is that, um, get this back in, 
there, this point right here extends out over the split, split ring splitter. Um, and it allows you to kind of grip it a little bit better than the ones that stop or actually go underneath. And you guys might like those. I just don't. I like the ones that where the, the other plier point comes out just a little bit further. So eight bucks, Bass Pro Shops, standard, works very well. I got myself a couple pairs. I'm going to keep using these until they break. But once they do, it's nice to know that I'll have those backups right there. Guys, thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for stopping by. It's always a really great company. I appreciate you guys supporting Jekyll 424. I will see you guys soon with the next spray session. Give me your comments. Give me your ideas. What do you want to see done? Let's make that happen for you guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. You guys take care. We'll see you soon.